Hello my talented community this is Ted Muji from TDM TV Toronto as you know I'm always working hard to stay out of trouble and TDM TV Toronto is like a bridge between the talent and the community try to introduce the talented people of our community the bright personalities of our community and we just try to provide a platform to them to showcase their talent so today we have in our studio one of the most talented and creative designer and artist uh, in our studio her name is Titiana Lipka over here let's welcome Titiana Lipka how are you doing Titiana I'm doing fine Thank very you. good let's uh, let us know about yourself a little bit about uh, Titiana please well I uh, work in uh, fashion very good uh, I have a small company studio tiny loft jewelry, okay. and I make bold statement jewelry pieces very nice they're not Lovely. traditional mm -hmm. they're not formal pieces mm -hmm. they're not evening wear mm -hmm. but uh, they are fun they are cool they are for people who are looking for something different something not usual Wow very good please tell our audience that what is studio tiny loft Yes, it's a small jewelry studio where uh, I make uh, these different pieces mm -hmm. and it's in Toronto, mm -hmm. so uh, we sell them in different places in uh, southern Ontario. Very good. And uh, I brought a small part of my collection here mm -hmm. uh, to this studio just to show them. Very nice, yeah. very good. So uh, before going to your product, and we we love to see your products, uh, in fact, and we cannot wait. Okay. But <laughs> for for just for a general interest, can you please tell us who are you basically? Your who are your customers, and what is your USP? Oh yes, uh, my customers are active ladies, mm -hmm. uh, people who are either working mm -hmm. and uh, having active social life Very good. or retired ladies who are still active who are interested in coming to theaters who mm -hmm. travel who have um, charities so uh, these are people who have distinctive style Very different nice. style and they're looking for something which will complement their different style lovely that's great very good you have a it's a unique niche you yes. have your, your yeah. for your it's product it's a niche mm -hmm. yeah. yes very, it's a very niche. unique it's very Co unique yeah very like uh, and yeah. okay so uh, Tatiana uh, uh, without wasting our time more a lot <laughs> we'll just move towards your towards your art pieces that you have created or uh, we can see over here uh, your art pieces they are looking lovely excellent means out of so can you please uh, tell us about your uh, your work your uh, your about your jewelry that what are the material you are using to create these art pieces um, I try to use only natural materials, something not toxic to make and to wear, something biodegradable, something um, pleasant to touch, mm -hmm. and something which does not have a big impact on the environment. Very when good. I use leather, for so example... So it means they're uh, environmentally friendly yes, products? Yes, absolutely. Oh, wow. It's a sustainable jewelry collection. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I use leather, uh, they are small pieces of leather they're scrap leather mm -hmm. and it's high quality it's um, very well done but I use something which otherwise would be wasted mm -hmm. or for example I use bones I use antlers uh, these are these are natural antlers uh, the animals losing them uh, springtime in the woods and people collect them and for centuries they are making nice warm to touch interesting pieces wow, so lovely. I'm using them for jewelry Th these are antlers these are natural deer antlers they collected in the woods oh wow and you can see it's old piece of horn it's got uh, that patina on mm. it it was sitting in in woods it was sitting under the snow mm. and I also use these these are I can show it to my yeah, yeah my viewers also <laughs> you can see it it's a, a little heavy very light no it's it's L compared to the compared to the Compa weight, weight uh, to, yeah. to the size okay. you would expect it's heavier mm -hmm. but then I polish them and I make something like this very good and I put some embellishment with them mm -hmm. and uh, all my black part of all my black no, this is not showing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can show it like this, yeah? yeah. Okay. Uh, all the black parts of the jewelry, mm -hmm. it's natural leather, Ooh. so it's very warm around your neck. 
and it's not it's durable it will not be ruined after a week or two of so wear. when you say natural leather what does it mean like is it like a uh, synthetic leather no 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 it's natural leather natural leather it's, means like yes, yeah. it's coming from the yes, it's uh, real hide. yes it's yes very good huh from the okay and uh, what is this thing these are these are leather pieces, leather pieces these also. are leather, leather necklaces pieces. okay good they have magnetic clasps they wow, are easy to put great. on and to remove they are they have black mm -hmm. backings and they are on uh, stitched leather cords mm -hmm. they are nicely finished they have nice beveled edges. Very good. Very good. They are very easy to wear. You fold them, you put in your pocket, and here you go. Oh wow, that's great! <laughs> they are practically unbreakable. Very nice, good, lovely. And what's what? What do you have in your yes. hand? What is this thing? This is shark's tooth. Oh my God! Yes, twenty-five shark million <laughs> years ago, uh, it was a huge shark in the ocean, megalodon. So these are megalodon. Teeth and okay. I decided. To the camera a little yes, bit more I decided to I make this? nice pendants oh. of them. They fossilized. Wow. They actually stones. Uh, they this. they yes. They make this sound. They are stones. My God. In my eyes, they look very nice on leather cords as a statement pendant. Okay. I uh, I have pictures of them. Oh, so I good. mean, I don't have yeah, yeah. them now. Very you nice. can show very the pictures. Good. Okay. <laughs> so I. Uh, so, Tiana, it's very interesting. I see over the, these things that means, honestly, they are very... <laughs> yeah, a lot of treasures. A lot <laughs> no, of treasures. No, but no, they are very interesting, very creative and very unique as well. And uh, you yes. have some other products also. Can you please uh, show yes. it to our customer, uh, to our audiences? Uh, these are a little piece of wood, uh, but it's two million years, 200 million years old. Wow. These are petrified wood. So they became stones. Uh, and they feel like stone, but mm -hmm. they keep this wood grain. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have a necklace to show today what I created with it. Mm -hmm. I love the colors. Taupey, beigey, no browns, very neutrals. Very and good. they go with everything. Lovely, lovely. So, and what is this thing? <coughs> you Have you... Okay, this is wild boar's tusk. It's something what I wear. Mm. It comes from Africa. So um, I think it's a very distinctive shape mm -hmm. and very nice next to stones, next to turquoise, next to coral. Mm -hmm. I put it with uh, amber, so it looks very interesting in my eyes. Very good, lovely. <laughs> Titiana, you, when you came over here in the studio, you also told that you have a jewelry also based on amber. Yes. Yeah, so can you please show this one? Yes. I'm, I'm really Here, very obliged uh, yes. yeah, to see this uh, thing. The piece I'm wearing yeah. and these pieces, they are amber. Amber is a tree resin. It's a natural material, but it's also very old. It's wow. from 35 to 50 million years old. So My it's fossilized God. and it's became a stone. Can I see this It's thing? very light. It's warm, it's mm. a pleasure to wear, and Very also it has some healing features. People put it next to their skin okay. uh, to improve metabolism, to get concentration, to improve their night oh. sleep, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's just simply beautiful stone. It comes from different areas in the world, like mm -hmm. many countries have uh, amber, but uh, the best and the most valuable is Baltic amber. That's what Baltic I work Baltic amber. With. Yes. It, somewhere it from, from the Baltic? North, yes, from North Europe. Oh. Um, there is also Dominican amber, which is 10 million years younger. Show so, me. yeah. So, Titiana, I have an idea in my mind. Is it possible that we can show all your, of your products to our viewers? Means on, on a beauty wearing it? And we show it to it will be yes, more interesting. Yes, for I sure. Think. Um, we will invite my friend Ashley to show what we have, and we can start from leather collection. Uh, uh, my dear talented community, uh, while we are talking to Titiana and we, while she is showcasing her creativity and her art pieces, we are also would like to introduce uh, Ashley, uh, our talent over here. Uh, who is actually uh, showing all these products to you. So let's uh, invite Ashley on our floor. Please Ashley, come in. <laughs> okay. Wow. What we see here, it's a leather collection. Uh, there are pieces of leather and the collection was inspired by Japanese artist Kusama after I visited Art Gallery of Ontario, uh, the exhibition of Kusama art. 
uh, Summer Artist is called the Queen of Polka Dots. So I visualized all these polka dots on your neck, and you can see how nicely it goes with something simple. Oh, really? Uh, oh, nice. It goes with all colors. It's very light, it's feathery light, and it's fun. It's not too serious. So we make bracelets, we make different earrings, we make different uh, necklaces and Ashley will show us actually the way how this type of necklace looks in a long uh, version. Okay. Please Ashley show us the new piece. Okay. Yes. This is the same idea. Oh, uh, they are colorful great. polka dots, but it's in a long version. Mm -hmm. And um, it's on a black rubber. If you want, you can wear it doubled. This way it will look like a short necklace. Mm -hmm. But this is the whole idea. They are very versatile and they are all colors in the world. Wow, very good. All <laughs> colors in the world. Yes. Wow, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> I like it. Please? Uh, you were telling me about this uh, product. It's amber? Amber, yes. Yeah. This is amber piece mm -hmm. and Ashley will show us um, another necklace with the um, amber. Yes, here oh. you go, the huge piece of wow. amber. Actually, uh, we are specializing in the biggest pieces in Toronto, I think. If you will check Toronto jewelry Ooh, stores, you will find really? small pieces of amber. Mm. I love huge pieces. They're not glued, yeah, they're, they're I, I, natural. Yeah, I think it's, I, I haven't seen this size of amber ever yes. before. And I put next to it, I put black uh, buffalo horn, mm. which is byproduct of agriculture. The animal comes from farms in Asia uh, and they work on rice fields they are not killed for uh, the horns they die naturally uh, while having productive life mm -hmm. and then people use uh, horn for beautiful uh, oh. objects wow so you mean these horns were collected after they when yes they're, when yes they're dead. yeah we are sustainable company we try uh, not to use wrong materials for our work Lovely. we think what we are doing Very and good. we know that our customers are always interested and always ask questions wow that's great man i like it and can you please tell us a little about about this bracelet that she's wearing yes and the cuff bracelet it's a piece of leather and it's very nice over a sleeve but it's nice over a skin you can wear it as a singular statement piece you even don't have to have anything on your neck sometimes you don't want to wear nothing on your neck this will be enough statement mm -hmm. to complement simple wardrobe huge uh, amber with black buffalo horn uh, the buffalo is um, animal which there are three pendants on one necklace it's all one wow. piece it has magnetic clasp at the mm -hmm. back uh, natural stitched leather and all these different pendants mm -hmm. they just add character to otherwise simple necklace Oh. Wear it with white blouse, wear it with a linen dress, wear it with a red sweater. It will always look good because it's neutral, because it's quite simple. It will show on any modern outfit. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so uh, can do. you please explain? The, I, I think that there are three articles on this one, uh, yes. on one necklace. So can you explain a little bit what is it about? Okay, the top is amber. Okay. Uh, the middle part is a black buffalo horn ball. Uh, I like this material, it's not plastic. It, it doesn't scratch easily. Mm -hmm. And it's not a stone, it's mm -hmm. much lighter than stone. So mm -hmm. it's comfortable to wear. Very and good. the bottom is very different. It's a wild boar's tusk. Wild? So, wild boar. Wild boar? Yeah, oh, wow. wild pig. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I just like the contrast of the colors, of the shapes, mm -hmm. and of textures. So mm. that's what we are all about. We are of uh, all about contrast, all about of surprise. We try and you, not to you be boring. already told that the, all of your products are very sustainable. Yes, yeah, we try to be as much sustainable as possible. We don't use synthetic, we don't use uh, things which don't biodegrade, and we want our pieces to be durable. If you buy a piece from Studio Tiny Loft, you will wear it many years, you will enjoy it. Wow, the leather cool. only becomes better with wear, and uh, the other materials are hand polished, they're sanded, they have a nice sheen, 
So our metal parts are not silver. After experimenting with the different metals, I discovered that the closest to my design ideas was stainless steel. It has urban, uh, contemporary look, mm -hmm. and it does not tarnish. Oh, it will good. not change color. So where is the stainless steel over uh, here? All the metal parts is and all steel. the clasps are stainless. Oh, 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 so okay. it will not show the yellow base metal. It will not rub off. It's a solid metal and it will not tarnish. Wow. It's also hypoallergenic. So if people have allergies touching the skin, it will not make any harm to the skin. Lovely. That's okay. great. Yeah, can you please give, give us an explanation of, what? of, 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 of like what? Uh, the, okay. the same thing that okay. you told us? Mm -hmm. uh, so when I when I will come uh -huh. to her uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. article, uh -huh. so you uh, start speaking about it. Now Ashley is showing our long statement necklace. It's actually one piece with... Th please explain about this one also. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, this is uh, the necklace from my Scandinavia collection. Scandinavia? Uh, yes. And you're from Scandinavia no, also? No, I'm from uh, Eastern Europe. I'm Eastern from Ukraine. Ukraine, okay. But you know what? Our collections are quite cosmopolitan. cosmopolitan. We have something from... Um, Japanese style. We mm -hmm. have, um, you know, something which resemble um, jewelry from Morocco. We have something which is from Scandinavia. We have uh, Northern American Indian um, influences too. So we are cosmopolitan. It's it's all about, all uh, about yes, How all about really? the whole world. Wow, that's and great. these are antlers uh, with black buffalo horns on uh, black leather. Very versatile piece. Mm -hmm. uh, like you can wear it with many different outfits, mm -hmm. but the best is to wear it with something simple. So then uh, the viewer will focus on the necklace, and I'm sure these are eye-catching necklaces and Definitely. conversation starters. No doubt about it. Yeah, people will ask, Very "What nice. do you wear?" <laughs> 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 That's great, lovely. Yes, yeah, it's a collection uh, with antlers. Um, these are the necklaces which you can wear with something simple, and it's an eye catch, it's conversation starter. People will ask you, What is the thing you wear? On this thing you want to show to our community, uh, uh, the piece, art piece that you want to show to uh, us, over yes, the, uh, to audience. The last will be this set of a necklace and bracelet which is made from um, petrified wood. I mentioned this wow. material. It's that Please come again. What is this? Petri petrified, petrified wood. wood. It's wow. a piece of wood which became a stone mm -hmm. because it's 200 million years old wow. and it keeps the grain, it keeps a nice wood texture. Mm -hmm. I, I love the colors. I love how it goes with the black and with you know other colors uh, and we have a bracelet and we Can have a necklace yes yeah wow that's great lovely so the whole material is so beautiful mm -hmm. so it's a statement enough and it's can you open and close yeah oh lovely that's great <laughs> very good so these pieces will never go out of style. Mm -hmm. They are aside from mainstream fashion and they are for a niche market, but uh, they will be always good for people who are looking for something different, for something mm -hmm. not typical. Very good, lovely. I I really uh, inspired with you all of you these creative products. Honestly, means I've never ever seen such a collection ever before. It's a wood which is two million, two hundred million years old, uh, and uh, it keeps the grain. You can see that it's wood. It's a beautiful texture, but it became stone. So uh, wearing it with black leather makes it so modern and very versatile. I love the colors. They go with so many colors. It's a striking uh, statement piece. I wow. actually like uh, the, all, all of your products. Honestly, honestly, they're so adorable. Thank Means you. I really like it very much and hopefully our audiences will also like all these things. Just wanted to know quickly that where are all these things available? Where we can buy and get all these things? Uh, yes, they're available online. If you go to Studio Tiny Loft, dot com uh, there is a little section shop 
where you can uh, have links to different websites where you can buy different collections. Wow, lovely. Then you can buy them in Toronto in um, Gardiner Museum of Ceramic Arts mm -hmm. gift shop. Mm -hmm. You can buy them from Craft Ontario gift shop. It's um, a little um, gallery where crafted uh, artisans of our province sell their products. You can buy in some retail and you also can come to arts and craft shows in Toronto. Please come to these shows. You so will be when, when these art and craft shows are happening? Oh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have okay. any idea the recent one that's happening? Yes, Very close? Uh, the closest probably will be September. With COVID situation, we don't know what will happen in the summer. But uh, we expect in September beaches in uh, Toronto East, mm -hmm. uh, Kew Gardens mm -hmm. and Cabbage Town, Toronto East. Mm -hmm. So uh, both of these stores, are, uh, both of these shows are very interesting uh, from 200 to 300 different artisans and people who like fashion should come to these shows because you will deal directly with artisan. There will be no middle person. So mm -hmm. the prices are better if you deal with the artisan and you can find something made in one sig singular thing, in one singular piece. So that's why people come to these shows. Very good. And can you please repeat your website again? To Studio Tiny Loft dot com. Studio lo uh, Tiny, Tiny Loft, Loft dot com. com. Very there good. is a little section shop. I don't sell from mm -hmm. the website directly, mm -hmm. but on my website there is a link where you can purchase these pieces Very and nice. most of them uh, we include the shipping cost and taxes in the price so you don't have to calculate all these extras very good. So if somebody uh, outside the Canada wants to buy these products, they so can, how, yes, they how can, can they buy, I believe, from these and they can always contact me. I am convo friendly. I like people from different parts of the world very to, good. you know, yeah, as you told to that, you already told that you're very cosmopolitan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you for showing, coming to our studio and showing all these products and uh, showing this lovely, lovely model uh, to our audiences. Okay. Thank you very much, Ashley. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, I hope I will see you on these shows and I would like to say thank you to TDM TV Toronto and to you, Ted. Thank it you. It was a very nice experience to work on this. Um, a little movie and if you like what you've seen please share like us and subscribe and remember that TDM TV is the bridge between talent and community exactly thank, thank you, you very much thank you thank you Tatiana for coming to the studio taking out the time I really appreciate bye, bye. <laughs>